While we have been wounded by this pandemic, we cannot give up. We must look at this as an opportunity to renew, to reconnect, to reinvigorate, to re-energize and to reset our focus towards a better world, to advancing human development and ultimately advancing humanity. The current pandemic is reshaping lives, economies and the fabric of our communities and in some cases with no clear end in sight. But Siddharth Chatterjee, a lifelong humanitarian and the new UN resident coordinator in China, appeals to us to also focus on issues that improve the human condition. The world is unified by the UN's Sustainable Development Goals with a deadline of 2030. In the current pandemic, will we make it and will we make it on time? You know, despite the achievements in many areas, the world was not on track to meet the Sustainable Development Goals by 2030, even before the pandemic. And now we are witnessing a rolling backwards for the first time in decades, for example, SDG 1, uh, with an estimated 71 million additional people pushed into poverty. As the former resident coordinator in Kenya, with colleagues from the UN team, we mobilized companies to impact, for example, reduce maternal mortality of, or in six of the highest burden counties. We were able to bring close to 70 companies towards working towards agricultural production improvement in Kenya. I believe that what we were able to do in Kenya can be telescoped and with China's support there is so much that we could do in order to make sure that we start to make progress and not just that leapfrog the achievement of the SDGs because ultimately it is big data technology and innovation and this is where the UN can play a critical role of convening, connecting and catalyzing these partnerships. Humanity has been plunged into a state of grief, lockdowns and with a fragile global future ahead. What message do you have for those of us watching who are lost and confused? While we have been wounded by this pandemic, we cannot give up. We must look at this as an opportunity to renew, to reconnect, to reinvigorate, to re-energize and to reset our focus towards a better world, to advancing human development and ultimately advancing humanity. We've been speaking about the world, but I'd like to finish off by speaking about you. In coming back to Asia, you are in a sense coming back home. You were born in India, in Calcutta. Is there a formative experience growing up that influenced your decision to give a life in public service? You know, James, important question. You know, perhaps my first lessons on compassion and kindness came from a Chinese gentleman when I was nine years old. And, and uh, it so happened that uh, my father was out shopping. I was watching cowboy movies and I saw these brown pair of boots at a shop in, in Chinatown in Calcutta. And uh, I wanted those pair of boots. So my father went with me inside that shop and he asked the price and my father told me that he couldn't afford it. And obviously as a nine year old, my reaction was to cry and I followed my father reluctantly off to another shop and we walked quite a distance. And while I was standing outside, um, I get a tap on my back and it's, it's this Chinese sh shoe shop owner who gives me a bag and says, don't cry and you know, and he leaves. So my father came out from the store, he had several bags, he didn't notice I was holding a bag and we got home and that's when my father asked me what's in that bag and in that bag, it turned out it was the same pair of brown shoes. But what was really surprising, James, was that those pair of brown shoes fit me perfectly. So my parents went and bought some sweets as the tradition in, in Bengal and went to thank him. My mother then asked him that, how did he know the, my feet size? And he told her that he had a son my age, nine years old, who died a year before in Calcutta when there was a cholera outbreak. So my mother reminded me of the story back in September as I was preparing to come to China in January. And she said that the unseen hand of destiny has brought you here. And that's when I understood the true words of what compassion is all about. So coming to China is perhaps not just the unseen hand of destiny, but for me, a true privilege that the UN Secretary General saw me fit to come and lead the United Nations country team here. Siddharth Chatterjee, I thank you for your trust and your time. We thank you for your public service and everyone at the United Nations for giving their life and their skill to bring about a greater good for all.
Thank you very much, James. It's been an honor joining you on your program. I am James Chow. You're watching The China Current. Follow us on social media at The China Current.